Hey everyone, welcome to the Star Drop Podcast. Nathan and I recently thought of doing something like this, but then again, it's just our first time. So please excuse us for our lack of skill in this field, and most especially the quality of our microphones. They're not HD, but rest assured we will improve them in the next episodes. With that, we are proud to release the first episode of the Star Drop Podcast. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Well, you know, we're now in our college years, and now it's go- it's going to be a lot of times for our mental health will be deteriorating. Yeah, you actually, say, not a lot of times. Most of the times, this is a uh, one way we can maybe improve our communication. Oh wait, why am I holding? We don't have like free parsnips. Uh, but oh, Nathan, we do start with a poop. What? what? Yeah, yeah, right here. Right oh, here. As, I was, as I was saying. We want to improve our communication. We want to let off our concerns. So yeah, we we started this podcast. And episode and one. Okay. Hope you guys will enjoy as we talk about random stuff while we play this beautiful game. And hopefully you guys are able to relate. One thing crossed my mind earlier. Um, Nathan and I we're polar opposites when it comes to social yeah. interaction. Nathan is. You, you said this many times right now, Nathan. You are an extrovert. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a <laughs> I'm a pure introvert. Um, in some way, I don't know. Like, introvert, being an introvert is actually pretty fun. In a way, kaya la, you know, I define introverts an introvert as like some a person who lacks the energy to go out of summer, or to be specific, a person who lacks the energy to do social interaction. Right? Yeah, but on the other hand, uh, an extrovert, we feed off of uh, social interaction. Social interaction, yes. No. Yeah. If like for a second we don't have, they don't it, hold back. Yeah. But that that doesn't mean I have a problem with them. Of course. Uh, introverts and extroverts can be alike in some way. Why do we need them? We're still waiting for this stupid beer store to open. Yeah, it's still 7.30, 7.40 <laughs> there we go. So yeah, um, let's just wait for PR start to open. But, uh, no. Yep, so uh, yeah, as we were saying, we are complete polar opposites. <laughs> That's why we wanted to start a podcast, because we, we have different opinions on stuff. To be honest, introverts and extroverts is a topic I'd like to discuss on, well, you know, like deeply. Yeah. Because the problem, uh, in today's problem, a lot of people are complaining about, you know, their capabilities being an introvert or an extrovert. Yeah, yeah. That's actually it's like until 9 a.m. Um, what I'm saying is, there are some introverts who look down on themselves. They're worrying that they're not doing much from themselves or they're not doing much for others. And on the other hand, when it comes to extroverts, they worry that they're being too outgoing. Or they worry that they're being too noisy or, you know, too interactive with others. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. they may like, be afraid that. Oh, that is a uh, no. That's just a uh, no. Based from experience, uh, I've heard from others. And sometimes also like introverts, like me, we tend to think of what others would think of us. Yeah. Right. Like, right. Like, it doesn't matter if you're an introvert or an extrovert. Sometimes we'll just think about what others think of us. Yes. Depending on how we act around them. It like when you grow up. I, I'm not saying that you're forced to be an extrovert, but like once you grow up, you're gonna have to like explore a lot of stuff. You, Diva. You're gonna have to come out of your shell. You know what I mean? <laughs> that is true. Lalo na kapag college na. Oh my exactly. god. Exactly. Ang hirap talaga. <laughs> it's hard to first day palang eh. It's really hard to act around your new blackmates. I don't know for the same, but like I'm actually excited to go to college because I want to be new friends. Oh, like, <laughs> yun nga. That's the point. We're polar opposites. See, we're like, oh my gosh, this is so good. Pero I don't know. I'm glad because may nakilala ako actually. Malamit ako nakilala sa ano to, for first few for my first week. Yeah, 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 ako yeah. no mga blockmate ko lumabas. 
That's actually good. Yeah, actually, yeah, that made me realize the really good thing about uh, our generation being in college right now. You know, they're really aware that a lot of people don't want to be left out. And these days, there are really a lot of students that, parang, you know, they're really willing to meet each other, uh, meet yeah. new friends. Compared to before, because um, social interaction before wasn't a big part of society. And especially when it comes to college. Yeah. But right now, it's a big thing. Our generation is really something else. But ano, ano sa tingin mo? What do you think? Is it a good thing that na, na we're really exposed to a lot of social interaction? Yeah, yeah. For me, I mean, oh, like, just, oh wait, we already made a chest. Oops, why well, you have two chests now? I mean, two chests is better than one oh, chest. Yeah. For me, it's like very important that we get exposed to that type of. Because yeah, it's like what I said. The the longer you grow, it's not always that you're in your circle of friends. They're not always gonna be there. Mm. Yeah, it's not same just your circle of friends. Same people that you spend your the rest of your life with. They're not always gonna be there. You're gonna have to like, you know, go out of your shell, find new people. Yeah, that's the sad truth, unfortunately. Just be careful of finding new people. Huh? You might find bad people in the process. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. That's well, another point I'd like to discuss. Actually, mm, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, when you um, when you've come to a point where you're about to meet new people, right? You really have to be careful on who you're around with or who you're talking to. Yeah. Some people, magkukuwa nila lang na mabait sila, pero in reality ang yabang yabang nila. Oh. Yeah. Pero so, have that arrogant superior nature. I always like. I always see this, especially in the school setting. A lot of your the people you meet just use you for your worth. Like let's say you're rich, <laughs> they're gonna become friends with you because you're rich. They don't. Oh my you. god, bro! I can relate. <laughs> and what more and thing? Ito, um, junior high. God. Yeah. yeah. And daming. Parang ano, tila may hawak akong iPhone, mayroon akong some kind of necklace with me. Tita nila sa akin, parang... <laughs> They feel like you're out there. Uh, Yaman ko daw. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, look, you can call me rich, but call me rich in heart, not rich in money. But, We're gonna be sleeping yeah, in the I understand, I understand. Yeah. Are you gonna <laughs> sleep in the same? Having others uh, just worry about others, what others think of you. That is really yeah. a fun, big thing. When it comes to the to beach, we hit the beach south okay. of Ah, uh, yeah, let's go get the fishing line. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we gotta water. At times like this, you have no choice but, you know, sometimes you just have to self reflect on yeah, yeah. how you're acting. And, you know, I don't know if, it, I don't know if it's bad, but, like, it's gotten to the point where I, I just don't care. I don't care about it anymore, you know? Oh, uh, you didn't care about what? I didn't care of what they were gonna say. Oh, of course. Yeah, it doesn't matter what they say. Because in the end, you're just the one. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's me. Why would, I, why would I care about what they would say? Mm, right? If any of you guys, but, you know, maybe some of you there might be self-conscious about uh, whether or not you're going to be, you know, make friends. Especially if maybe some of you are adjusting to a new workplace or a new environment. You know, yeah, be yourself. Yeah. It's okay. All right, it's okay. Be yourself. Don't worry. Oh, and by the way, speaking of consciousness, if some of you there are like body conscious, don't be, because I have like a great, great story. So what I'm gonna do right now, or what Benjamin is gonna do right now, I must send him like a picture of me before, and then me now. But uh, uh, body shaming, physical appearances, is yeah, it really is one of the biggest things when it comes to not not judgment. only if you're like fat, if you also have like uh other physical deficiencies fat, such so, as such as like pimples, um, yeah, pimples, um, uh, what uh, do you call that? Black uh, no. heads, white heads, acne, or anything. Uh, 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 yeah. Oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> Don't fish me. 
I'm not a fish. <laughs> You're a panda. I'm <laughs> a panda. <laughs> but like the, but like what I'm saying, it might hurt you at the beginning, but like the, hmm. as as time goes on, you realize that what they're saying is not actually true. You know, you can even use it as like fuel. I mean, what if, if if you love it, then keep it. If you love it, then yeah, that's that. As long as you're not stepping into someone, or like, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, the, yeah. The most important thing, guys, be humble. Exactly. Galan lang naman talaga. Exacto mundo. And everything we do, we have to be humble. Oh my God! What is this fish? This is hard. <laughs> These fish are just. Wait, there's That's a hotspot here. Fishing. Oh, I leveled up. Being like an extrovert, it also has its negative side. Just like what you said, we get bullied because of like sometimes people treat us as like attention seeking, like hung, hungry of attention, something like that. Yeah, and not only that, based on what I've seen, you guys are being uh, what do you call that? Because You're being that. looked down for being mm-hmm. too noisy. Yeah. yeah. So, and because of that, a lot of extroverts are forced to... Just, you're just forced to be introverts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could say that. I, I'm surprised that I'm an introvert and I decided to do a podcast like this. It's, you know, even if I'm someone like that, I have no problem being, you know, opening up about this. In, in, in a way, I enjoy being a shy person. I enjoy sometimes... Yes. Sometimes I'm just used to being out of place. It doesn't really matter. There's people like that. They enjoy being shy. They enjoy being alone. Wait, actually, yeah. Why did I? Why the heck did I go back to my base? I was gonna keep fishing. Oh yeah, it's because I had to store my stuff because I had my like my tools with me so I can catch more fish. Oh uh, yeah, we make more profit. Oh, speaking of fish, when you meet someone who has become comfortable with you. Whether whether or not they're an introvert or an extrovert, you've caught the big fish. Yeah, it means uh, it may most probably mean that they're just used to talking with used to talking with you in a way that they're they have no problem trying to communicate with you. That's yeah. holding them back or something. Actually, you know, before I called myself an extrovert, I was I was once an introvert as well. Hmm. Yeah. Because. Uh, before I transferred from Cavite to Pasig, I was a very like extrovert boy. Cavite? Just, yeah, I was from Cavite originally. Oh, there you go. I thought, to be honest, I'm not aware. I was from Cavite originally, and then I oh. transferred to Pasig. When I transferred to Pasig, I became sort of like an introvert because I don't know anyone. Like, my friends are back home. I don't know no one here. Then when I transferred schools, that's when I got even more introvert because like, I'm like shy to get to know people. That reminds me of the times when my parents sometimes would try to convince me to switch to other schools. But so, ako, <laughs> ako, ayo kung lumipat ng school because it's gonna be another set of people, and I'm just young. I don't know how to properly communicate with others. <laughs> Yeah. Same situation as you. But I don't know. I guess I stepped out of that uh, sort of situation when I w- wanted to meet my first friend. You, you remember Kayan, right? Si Tente Costas? Yeah. He was actually yeah? my first ever friend in shop. Dina, really? And the funniest way we met, we met in the in the bathroom, the stall. <laughs> The bathroom, out of yeah, all places. Ah, bakit classic kayo or no? No. Ah, hindi? Really? Oh. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Here we go. Ano, gusto niya mong makipag-friends? Kasi wala pa akong friends no time na yun. I think that was like grade 2 or grade 3. Grade 2 or grade 3. Yeah. Oh my gosh, man. Actually, the first time I met you was grade 3. Yeah. Yeah, no great thing. Then I got very confident in myself. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. I could tell because in that time, I noticed that 
you were talking a lot. Well, excuse me if I say this, but I don't know grade three. <laughs> Plugging out out of place that I didn't talk to you much though. I just only met you there. But I'm not even gonna say all grade five. Yeah, I think grade five. That's when we become became friends, good friends. And until now, I I don't know how many years we've been friends. Actually, okay. Uh, count it from grade five: six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eight, eight, nine. Oh, More yeah. or less. Going a decade, but yeah, that's the first. See, it's it's not bad being an introvert. It's not bad, yeah, at all. That's it, based on my experience. Even if you lack the energy to go out or uh, socialize with others, the advantage is you get to do what you want, and by doing what you want, you get more energy. Oh, we're gonna pass out. Uh, no. We're gonna oh pass my God. out. What of energy? We're gonna make it. Don't worry. I think. Okay. Oh well, doesn't matter if we pass out. We're just gonna lose. Like we only have three hundred bucks with us. Uh, please don't pass out. I don't want to pass out on the yeah, second no, day. No, no, I don't want to pass out. We're gonna be exhausted. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm oh make it. no! No! no. I was not in hope. It doesn't. Okay. Yes. Don't pass out on the, in front of my bed, please. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, there I we go. Well, I'm fishing once. That's great. Oh my god. We oh. just made a thousand bucks out of that. Nice. Day three, by the way, boys. By being an introvert, well, kind of extrovert, kind of extrovert guy. There, there's always a chance to take care for of yourself. Oh, you, yeah, it's raining. It's raining. Good. Take care of yourself. You know, take care. Take care of your mental health. Take care of your social relationships. Oh, we got an egg. Yes. Oh, already? Oh yeah, right. Cause we have. Wait, they grew already? Yeah, Are you they, kidding me? They're grown. I thought chickens take four can days you, to can grow. You, can you collect the egg, bro? I can't get the egg. I don't know oh, why. Sing it, sing it, sing it. Leave it to me. Where, where, where? I it's can... here. Chip is blocking the way. I just realized the name is Chip. And the <laughs> name is Dip. Wait, what's the name? This? Did you name these chickens? No, I didn't. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, look, look. The name of the white chicken is Chip. And the name of the brown chicken is Dip. How coincidental is that? The only... Thing that we really, really just worry about being introverts or extroverts. Yeah, and then again, it's just what people think of us. It's a catfish. Oh my god. I wasn't able to catch the catfish a while ago. No way. Level one fishing? Come on. Oh, don't film me now. Come on. Come on. I'm holding my breath. Oh my god. I, oh, okay. I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dang it, you stupid fish. You know, you, you know, there's also like a term ambivert. I oh, oh. it'd be extra an, an at the same time. Either right, yeah, yeah. yeah either. Oh no, that never even crossed my mind. Have I even met someone who's like that? <laughs> Ikaw. <laughs> what can you say is like the best thing about being an introvert? The best thing about being an introvert. Oh my god, interesting. Name at least three. Okay, one, no, one. Um, let's let's you know sort this in order of importance. One, sure, sure. I get to be more aware of myself. I think I I I'm not yeah, used yeah. to social interaction much, so most of the time I'm more. Uh, I'm not like selfish in a bad way, but I'm, I'm really self-conscious when it comes to the people I meet. Yeah, that's one good thing. Um. So second the first thing, one, is, first thing, one, not important, not important, or the first is the top. Uh, first is the most important. One. Okay. Uh, second, I get to do the things that I want to do okay. a lot okay. more than when I'm, you know, then I have the energy to. Uh, and it, it's basically the opposite. When I'm an, a, an introvert, I don't have the energy to go out, but I have the energy to do the things I want. Yeah. But that doesn't mean it's the opposite when you're an introvert. It's hard. It's as much as it, it's difficult to explain. Mm-hmm. I get to uh, improve on my hobbies more. Yeah. Now that. And number three. Uh, <laughs> home sweet home. <laughs> home sweet home. I love staying at home. Home yeah, is so yeah. home. That's like, home like is life. the most common thing that I've been hearing from like. People that I know who are who are introverts. Introverts, yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Any good Most introverts. They always Actually, like stay at home. 
Uh, dati yung initial definition of an introvert is they just like to stay at home. It's more than that. I'm sorry. Uh, what does what does it mean to have a bad interaction? Because for me, I'm a little bit of support. Na yun. Bad interaction, siguro ano? That's like what the thing I like a uh, while ago. Ako ah, uh, I can sense people's energy. Energies like, oh, this guy is, this guy likes me, but he only likes me for because I'm happy. Like he needs me because I'm happy. Oh, this person likes me because I'm I have money, and then he's gonna back off when I don't have money. Oh, this person likes me because like I'm sporty. Yeah, as an as an extrovert, you get to see more of people's interests. Yeah, But, uh, we'll talk about you know f- friends' interests more in another episode. Because that, that's a really big topic as well, you know, having the sh- ha- sharing the same interest with another friend. We'll talk about that in a later topic. Yep, But yeah, yep. I, I get your point. I'm going home. We're about to pass out. We're not. We're good. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm just already, I'm already back home. I'm gonna keep this catfish for a bundle. Go. Again, guys, remember, introvert or extrovert, it's okay to be yourself. It's also okay if you feel that. You might be out of place. That's normal. Just remember that um, your attitude is all on you. It doesn't matter what people think of your attitude. As long as you're able to do what the things that you want to do, and as long as, of course, you're not hurting others, that's all good. Okay, na maging introvert or extrovert. You're always welcome. This is an introvert. <laughs> I'm just in my. Right, about to be in my third week of first year college. I'm glad na marami ko nakilala. Surprisingly, <laughs> marami na ko nakilala. Yeah, surprisingly being an extrovert. Wow. I'm not even a social person and I already get to meet a lot of people in my block. And I'm also surprised that yeah, yeah, ako. Now, at uh, that time, nang kumain kami sa Wendy's, one of them, they, uh, They inquired about my silent, you know, my silent attitude to uh, us. Yeah, yeah. They nila na oh, ang tahimik ka sa not like not that they're bothered by it. They're concerned about me more like you know, but now they're worried that I might be out of place. That's why they invited me. And actually, and they also invited me when nakita nyo sa ano sa loob lang ng sidewalk. Ako lang mo isa dito. They just approached me and invited me out. I'm just glad to help. Uh, despite being an introvert or extrovert, they're all just willing to. You know, they don't want other people to be out of place. What I'm saying. And I don't know. Next week in college, maybe. Yeah, next. I have no doubt that you know you get to meet a lot of people. Actually, excited na ako sa event namin sa ano this day. It's an orientation event. Orientation? Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah. May ano kaya? May may walk in there. Freshman orientation. Wala kami walk though, because oh, our school is just one building. Oh, well, right. But at least orientation, pa rin yan. you get to meet your blockmates. Oh, like, man, there's a lot of people there. You know? oh. Do you already know like some of your blockmates? Yeah, yeah. I'm, oh. in actually, I'm actually in the GC like last week or like last last week. Just at the end of the day, my advice to the people is just choose who you will you want you would want to be with and just don't be shy to show who you are you might be strong at something without you even knowing it because you're you're like too shy to try it because a lot of people are gonna say bad things about you but you should just you know go for it yeah damn it Uh, aside from what Nathan said, uh, being an introvert, ako, ako, being an introvert, or, <laughs> yeah, lalo na kapag reporting, school reporting, school thesis defense, oh my god, <laughs> uh, meeting others, um, as long as, uh, ang ganito, like, don't, don't be arrogant about your attitude, don't be arrogant about what you have that others don't, You, you know, some introverts may be good or may not be good at reporting. But as long as they're humble about it, they're willing to, you know, improve. 
and not look down on others. That's good. That's my biggest advice. Be humble. Yeah, Whether yeah. or not you think it's uh, you know out of the topic, you know when it comes to introverts, extroverts, being humble. I think for me it still counts. Being humble is a big part about your attitude. But you know, sometimes being too humble is actually like a bad thing. Oh, wait. What do you mean too humble? I, I'm I'm speaking in sports yeah. terms here. Okay. Like uh, your example like, situation. For example, let's say. You, you're like super duper good at math, and you know it. You're like the top of the class, good at math. So, and you know that you're like good, but you tell to other people, "Oh, I'm not good," and they know you're good as well. And they're not. They're telling, "Oh, I'm not good. It's just based on luck. I just studied for this topic." You know, that type of humble. You know that you're good at something, and you're like saying that you're not good at it. Ah, uh, oh not yeah. Really, you become boastful, but like, if you're good at something, you can at least tell them that you're good, and like, you know, not boast around that you're good. Just tell yeah. them that you're good at tell this. That, yeah, parang ano? Tell them that. Yeah, you you have good you have experience with this. You, you have, have experience, experience with, with this. There we go. But oh, hindi yung parang Oh, you know, mas magaling ako dito. Di mo kaya. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Di yan, hindi ganyan. Being humble is also, you know, having self-confidence in yourself. Uh, that's, that's redundant. Having self-confidence. Yeah. For now, it's the best game of content that I can provide you guys. Start your value with podcasts. <laughs> I, I, I thought of this podcast idea when, while I was really stressed out. Yesterday, I witnessed something I, I wasn't supposed to witness. I had a slight panic attack. It sucked. It, it really fucking sucked. Yeah, and then I, I, I don't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy Benjamin it. Benjamin proposed this idea to me yesterday. Uh, actually, just a while ago when I was out. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna like talking to someone else about this. Just you know, saves you from this. Saves yeah. you from this feeling that you're so stressed. It really, really you know, it just lifts that feeling. Oh my god! Like, except, it, that's why I find it a podcast. It's good to talk about it. Just, and lalo na kapag first topic natin is all about social interaction, introverts and extroverts. Yeah, and, you know, I found it good as well because a lot of you might be able to relate to it. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. I you hope guys... you guys. I hope you guys learned a lot from our talk. No, it's a, it's a yeah. really deep. It's a really deep topic to us. Kite, ano ba It's just about social interaction. How do you do like, us, like waves here? In the how do you emote? Ah, uh, I think it, why it's why. Why there? How do you do that? You know, again, I forgot. Damn it. Why it's why yeah it's why hold why. There we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it, you can really get confused with these types of like. Uh. What do you call? What do you call them? What do you call like this type of norm? Yeah, the norm. Pero, norms. But we're now at this point in our lives where sometimes we worry about our interaction with others. No? But again, don't worry. You'll get used to it. Yeah, yeah. It just it's, means it's we're getting old. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're just getting old. Oh, lalo kapag ino, eh, ah, man. Siguro natin sa atin, no, mga college na. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then again, guys, thank uh, for those who are for those who are still here. Salamat talaga. Yeah, you made our time you, worth it. You. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed that, definitely leave a like, subscribe, and you have anything to say more, bro? Yeah. See you in the next episode. We're gonna be talking about something else. Yeah. So definitely stay tuned to my channel. So yeah. Peace out, guys. Au revoir. Bye.